If your vSAN cluster spans across multiple racks or blade server chassis in your data center, and you want to make sure that your hosts are protected against rack or chassis failure, you can create a fault domain and add one or more hosts to each fault domain. A fault domain consists of one or more vSAN hosts grouped together according to their physical location in the data center. When configured, fault domains enable vSAN to tolerate failures of entire physical racks, as well as failures of a single host, capacity device, network link, or a network switch dedicated to a fault domain. To configure a fault domain on an existing vSAN cluster, from the vSphere client, select Host and Clusters. Select the desired cluster and click Configure. Under vSAN, select Fault Domains and click the plus icon to create a new fault domain. Enter a name, and then select one or more hosts for this fault domain. Click OK. You can repeat this process in order to create additional fault domains for this cluster. When designing and sizing a vSAN fault domain, consider the following guidelines. Provide enough fault domains to satisfy the primary level of failures to tolerate that are configured in the storage policies. Define at least three fault domains. Define a minimum of four domains for best protection. Assign the same number of hosts to each domain. Use hosts that have uniform configurations, and when possible, dedicate one fault domain of free capacity for rebuilding data after a failure. For detailed information on designing and sizing vSAN fault domains, be sure to go to storagehub.vmware.com.